Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about The Seep by Chana Porter. This one, um, I, this is going to be a very short review because I expressed my opinions in detail on Goodreads. Um, this book uh, didn't do much for me. I'm giving it two stars. The reasoning for that is it it did not feel like the author delivered their ideas, um, uh, not properly, but I think they missed the mark here. I'm not sure. Maybe it is supposed to be a parody of uh, social justice politics. Um, basically, the story is about a uh, an alien presence that comes down to Earth. It's called The Seep. And the people, and basically they, they make a, I'm, the only way I can put it is a liberal utopia. Um, where everybody uh, can do whatever they want to as long as they don't harm others. Uh, it is, but th there's a very, very strong theme of control. Uh, of being, uh, people wanting to do things like eat cheeseburgers, but the aliens won't let them because... Uh, the alien, wa the aliens want what's best for us. I think that was the, my favorite part of the book was the discussion about cheeseburgers. Um, the whole rest of the book really does feel like an extended SNL sketch, um, making fun of of uh, of liberals. Um, now the uh, now I I I say that, but it, I don't think it's meant to be that. So on the uh, the conservative side of things. Uh, if you go into this book expecting, you know, it, it it's very liberal minded. Um, the it, it covers all 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 that stuff. So if if you're not a fan of that, you you might actually enjoy this book a lot because it it does feel like a parody of those things. Um, I the the book is very weird. Um, I enjoyed that aspect of it. That's why I'm giving it two stars instead of one. Uh, because I did enjoy aspects, but I think overall the the point was lost on me. Um, I could I could be completely wrong. I could be completely off base, and I said that in my review on Goodreads. But uh, if you want to try the book yourself, it is available on Scribed. If you have that service, if you don't have that service, there's a link down there in the doobly doo. You get a month free. My kids get a month free. I don't get paid for it. Um, they just get a month free and they can listen to as many audiobooks as they want. Um, so if you want to do that, I appreciate you. Uh, so if you want to give it a try that way, go ahead. I would love to hear from people who enjoyed this book because I've been looking through the community and I am, I am right where every, uh, Shades of Orange, Rachel, um, she gave it 2.5 stars for a completely different reason. Um, many of my friends and people that I trust like Rachel, uh, they gave it about two, three stars. So I'm right there, but I, ha I think I have a differing opinion of why it was bad. Um, but anyways, that's all I have to, uh, that's all I really have to say about the book other than what's in my review. I'll leave a link down there in the doobly-doo to my Goodreads review. You can check it out there. But if you read The Seep by Chana Porter, if you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, especially if you Especially if you loved it, I want to hear from you. Um, let's see here. Uh, if you hated it, if you felt meh, any of those things. But let me know why you felt that way so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.